Hello everyone and welcome back to City6L and welcome back to WFC Waterfront City. Today I'd like to start with a mod I've recently installed. I'd like to show you this mod and Fred Langvor told me about this mod in the comments of my last WFC episode and this mod is created by JR View and called Ploppable Bench Lamp Trash Mod. Which is a cool mod because it allows you to put, yeah, uh, benches, trashes, and streetlights manually in your city to create some nice parks and plaza situations. You can find this mod here in the decorations menu and then in furniture after you have installed this mod. And yeah, I'd like to use it here in this area. Here I'd like to create some kind of uh, marketplace-like situation. And I've already placed some trees on the side and now I'd like to plop down some benches and street lights and such stuff. And yeah, let's start with the benches. And as you can see, uh, the benches automatically snap uh, snapping the the road, the road, and or the pedestrian path in our case. It's like yeah, like like the plopable trees. Now we can put street lights between them, like this. All right. Also here, and this, and finally let's add some trash cans. Yeah, like like this and ooh, maybe some two of these guys over here and yeah finally we have uh, added some furniture here to our plaza situ situation but yeah maybe now you're thinking uh, well so just one model for for each uh, type of furniture. This is not very much. This looks boring. But wait! <laughs> After you have put down, you have placed every furniture, you can left click on it and now you can quote unquote upgrade them to different types of furniture. So we have a green bench or this kind of very modern something. <laughs> Oh, we have this guy. Ooh, that looks weird. What is it? Okay. <laughs> so, but I'd like to have this one, for example. And oh, this one. Oh, this is a very old and dirty one. No, oh, let's. Hello. Let's stay with this. Okay. And yeah, let's change all the benches to this one. All these benches and yeah I like this mod it's it's very cool uh, allows to to do more random stuff in your city this is always a good idea and yeah and we we, ooh, we changed the model of the benches and then let's do the same with the trash cans like, let's change them in something like this. Yeah, like this. Maybe it's a bit weird to have two of them next to each other. Not very realistic or... I don't know. <laughs> let's stay. Let's keep them. Alright. And finally, the same with the street lights. I'd like to have... A more modern style one and smaller ones. This. Don't know why I have to click two times on this guy. But then it will change to this light. I like it. So here. And yeah, well, as always, you will find the uh, link, a link to this mod in the video description below. And as always, Install a mod only on your own risk. Make a backup of your city save file every time before you install a new mod. Just to ensure that will 
uh, that nothing happened to your <laughs> save file, of course. And yeah, and finally, we want to have the marketplace decoration. All right, let's fill up this area. And now we have a very nice marketplace with some uh, custom street furniture and street lights. Very well, very nice. I like it. And yeah, I think we are good here in this area. Maybe we can add some green over there. And yeah, I think we're fine. Of course, now I'd like to continue uh, at a other construction site here in my city. And this is the the lake situation, the lake area, and I'd like to repair the damage I damage I have done to the lake right now. And yeah, so one of the problems now is what is the the uh, terrain level here. I think, yeah, this is the terrain level of uh, this park area here. And now I need to extend this as close as possible to the sunken, or not the sunken road, uh, I mean the elevated freeway road over here. Yeah, let's try to do this. Let's take the the pedestrian pass has two. I think I have this one over here. Yeah, I have. I've used this one. And this will be not very easy to repair. Of course, um, yeah, I messed the terrain situation up a bit here. I mean, not just a bit. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, I think, and so let's try to repair this. Why this didn't work? I think I need to extend this guy a bit more, like this. Yeah. Okay, finally, I think we're we're good. We're almost on the same level. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit more below. But is it possible right now to on the path? This, yeah, it is possible. Maybe I should do this later. I'm not sure. What I have, have I done on, on this side? No, I did something like this. And is it? A, is this a good idea? I mean, uh, pedestrians cannot cross over to the other side or on the path. It. I'm not sure. <laughs> this is a good idea. I think uh, for the game it, it doesn't matter. But this would be a real life city. I think this would be not very nice. And uh, the bridge tool. I need the. Uh, elevated freeway bridge tool to modify the terrain here a bit. Yes, like this. And now, ooh, that's not good. That makes things not very easy. Um, okay, it's, it it creates a tunnel, and this is not very straight. Okay, I think. Still, things are still messed up here a lot, and well, I should not use the the bridge tool, of course. And yeah, maybe this is straight and flat. I'm not sure. Let's try this. Is this okay? Ooh. I think it is. I think it is. And yeah. Yeah, okay. I used the the wrong type 
of the Deathian Path, I should use this one. And yeah, I think, I think, yeah. No, it's good. It's good. Not perfectly flat, but it's okay. I can live with it. And yeah. Let's connect. Ah, uh, sorry. Let's connect this, these pedestrian pass to this one. I'm still not sure what, what should be the right road level here, or the right terrain level. I think this one should have a slightly lower level than this one. Okay. But, so, this sunken freeway should have the lowest level here in this city. Uh, and this lake should have the same level. And on this side, the road should have the same level like this side, or the pedestrian path. Sorry. And, yeah, and this guy should have the lowest level? Like the sunken freeway? No, 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 it should be a bit higher. But apparently, it's on the same level. <laughs> um, it's not very good, I think. Yeah, but it must be on a lower level. Because otherwise, it would be not possible to underpath the... The freeway here, the freeway bridge. Uh, I'm a bit confused right now. <laughs> I think I, I totally messed things up. And, yeah. So let me think for a second what I'd like to build here. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think finally, finally, no, I think finally, we are, we should try to build things a bit more flat. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I'm so sorry that I built this thing here all over again. It's it's not easy for me here. Uh, I, I always have this kind of problems in the early state of a city. And it's always always the same. The same problems. And sometimes it's it's a bit frustrating but um but usually the result is very good and so this is my goal to have a a nice looking city. But still not Damn it, what should I do? Terrain is, is not very easy. Ah oh, okay, now it didn't snap the the upper level again, so maybe now we have a chance. Now we have a chance. Maybe we should lower this area as well. Can we do this? Ah oh, damn it. <laughs> but Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's use this tool here and... Yeah, alright, alright, alright. I think this was a good idea. We... Uh, I've lowered the terrain much more below the surface and now... Should make things easier for us to build a straight... Deathrian pass. Alright. No, it's not very easy. Uh, still not very easy. Sorry, I have to concentrate. But it looks straight right now. Or, let's change the camera angle to check this. No, I think oh, we're still too much below the terrain. Damn it. Uh, I need to rise this side a bit more. Just a 
bit more like this and yeah finally it should be something like this Yes. Ooh. Yeah, okay. And yeah, this is something I have to think about. How oh, I should connect this to this route. The pedestrian pass, or if I should connect this to this one. So, uh, think. Can I underpass it right now? No, I cannot. Okay, I can. Mm. Okay, for the moment this is okay. I don't want to change the level of the lake here. So let's stay with this. And I have to think about how I sh or what I should do here in this area uh, along this this circular roads. These circular roads. But for the moment, I'm okay. I'm okay. Ooh, wrong text texture. Okay. So, finally. All lake. All lake. And yeah, I need to lower the terrain again. And how I should do this. Um, let's remove this texture. And let's take the the freeway tool. Let's take the freeway tool. Uh, wait a second. Does it create a tunnel? If I put it along this. No. So we should use the freeway tool to load the terrain. Straight, please. Straight road. Hello. What's wrong with you? Not enough room. Why this guy have not enough room? Okay, now it has... Alright. So let's try to build something like this. Okay. So my plan is to lower the terrain with the freeway tool. Hello. And... Use the decorations tool to flatten the whole area. Yes, like this. So, this hopefully should help us. And now I'd like to add, um, I'd like to add yeah, this type of houses. So, uh, which is the one I used here. I already had placed buildings like this here before. It was a, a modern modern style type. I'm not sure if it was this one. Yeah, let's do it. Nice house here at our lakeside. What will happen if I remove this? Ooh. <laughs> not good things will happen. No good things. And... Yeah, we have some green here between them. Alright. Let's add this guy. This. And this and this. Four of them. Interesting. <laughs> and yeah, let's let's do this again. Use the elevated highway. Lower the terrain along this house. Ah, uh, these houses. Try to get as close close as possible to this slope. And now we can use the decorations tool again, but let's use this one with trees. Okay, we do do not have any trees. Why we do not... We don't have any trees. So... We could technically also use... Also use this one. This will... Uh, no. 
think this one have a different behavior. Yeah, as you can see, it snaps the buildings. And the other one snaps just the uh, the freeway and the pedestrian pass. So we have a, had a, had a, a smooth slope, but uh, yeah, <laughs> you had seen what was happened to this house, these houses, and yeah, but no trees. This is a shame. So let's add some palms manually. Hopefully we can do this. Let's go to the Asia pack. And let's pick some palms. Yeah, maybe this one. So let's just put down some palms and then we just only one here. And two of them over there. And finally. Uh, one over here. <laughs> All right, so decorations and yeah, this is very nice. Here we have the same problem, except over there, because there is a bit more space between uh, these houses. So yeah, I think. Over there, I'm fine. And now, things getting interesting because I need to add the decoration on this side as well. Because so I'd like to have a slope over here. Like this. I think I will be not able to repair this connection. Maybe only if I extend the freeway a bit more. This is a... it's complica complicated over here, this area. It's complicated to fix. So maybe now it should work. And... So many decorations. <laughs> I have to click through a lot of decorations. Ooh! Yes, very nice. Yeah, very well, very well. We're okay, we're fine. So now we have fixed the slope over here, which is great. And can we move this one? And the slope over here will be... Uh, yeah, not so easy. <laughs> Maybe we should take this pedestrian pass, because it's very small, so we can work very precisely. Tend to snap. Oh my god. I don't want to have a bridge or a tunnel. Hello. Let's do it again. Small pedestrian pass. This is the smallest one. Uh, one. Okay, here the terrain is a problem. Let's try to lower the terrain with the pedestrian pass. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not sure if this will work. I think this lake will have a, have a slope also. <laughs> Interesting lake. Yeah, defi definitely. Uh, this terrain is too... Oh, this pedestrian pass is too deep below the terrain. Yeah, let's do it again. I think on this side we are good. But over here, it's a problem. It's not very... Uh, the, the terrain always tends to snap back to the, the, the road level. When you lower the terrain with a... With a other road or with a decoration and you remove the road and it tends to snap the upper lo road level again. It's, it's, ah, it's not very very nice. So it always cause some pro problems and trouble and you know what I mean. So you need a lot of patience and yeah. 
Ooh. But this is a prize for details, if you like to have details in your city. So, yeah, and actually, uh, we or I use all these decorations, tools and road tools, <laughs> not in the way as they uh, meant to be used, so. Alright. So, now oh, there's some texture needed. And yeah, finally, the, the leg side is fixed, is repaired. It's back again. Back in town again, you could say. And yeah, let's add some palms here again. And. Ah, uh, decorations. No, terrains. In terrains, we have pa palms. This one. And this one. And on this side. Yeah, there as well. So. Palms between every street light. Okay, and the decoration, grass decoration. So, yeah, finally, this is the first lake area. And now I could extend the lake here. This lake will, will go along the circular road and then also on the side until doo -doo -doo, along this central park area until here or so. So yeah, <laughs> a lot of lake left to build and I think, yeah, I, after I created this area I can start to think about how I can or what I should do here between this or these circles. Yes, I think. Yeah, I think the next step would be to put this connection. I think this is a good idea. This connection and extend the lake on this side. And then I have this area here. That where or or where I can start to build some more, you know, I'd like to have some more suburban low density stuff in the area between the circles, like in 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 New Coast City, and yeah, just just some of my thoughts I have at the moment, and yeah, so this is the end of the episode and. I'd like to remind you on my little contest that's going on, still going on. Send a mail with uh, with your, gu your guess what New Co City, my other Let's Play series city, is important, not this city, my other Let's Play, Let's Play City 6L city. How many people will live in the city when the city is finished? For more information about this and what to win, no big prize, it's just a postcard, <laughs> uh, click this annotation that should pop up right now. And yeah, like in episode 13, you should be fast because it is only visible for a few seconds because we are at the end right now. And thank you very much for watching. And let's have a nice view. From the two, uh, from the rooftop, rooftop. This is what I'd like to say. On the lake side. Thank you very much for watching and <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>